Matokeo ya darasa la nane mwaka huu yametolewa hii leo na kuwapa tabasamu wanafunzi wa kike ambao mwaka huu wamewapiku wenzao wa kiume. Wanafunzi wa kike wameongoza kwa asilimia nane nukta tatu katika orodha ya wanafunzi kumi bora katika mtihani wa KCP mwaka huu. Wasichana saba walishikilia nafasi za juu huku wavlana wakiridhika na nafasi tano. Akitangaza matokeo hayo, waziri wa elimu Jacob Kaimenyi ametoa wito kwa wazazi haswa wanaokatiza masomo ya wanao wa kike kuzingatia elimu yao kwanza. Lofti Matambo ana maelezo zaidi. Kinyume na ilivyo kawaida wanafunzi wa kike waliwapiku wenzao wa kiume katika matokeo ya darasa la nane mwaka huu. Pia asante, asante, asante sana. Ni matokeo yaliyoshuhudia wanafunzi wa kike wakijishindia nafasi saba za wanafunzi bora mwaka huu dhidi ya wenzao wavulana waliotosheka na nafasi tano tu katika kitengo cha kumi bora nchini. Hii ikiwa ni ishara tosha kwamba mtoto wa kike amejikakamua kuona mstari wa mbele kinyume na miaka ya kale. Number one, Kimtai Brian. Brian. Male 444 points from Stewart's Light School, Nandi County. Brian tied with another student, a female, female note, eh? Otiano Akoth Dafin from Golden Elite Premier. Kisumu County. The third top candidate, a female, by the name Mpekedo Yunita Rizik, 442 points from Kadigiri B in Nero County. La ziada ni kwamba idadi ya wanafunzi wa kike waliojisajili kufanya mtihani huo ilipanda hadi 413390 ikilinganishwa na 399310 ya mwaka 2012. The gender parity and this is key now stands at 49.2% for girls and 50.8% for boys which is the closest we have been to we have seen towards achieving gender parity in KCP examinations aidha katika kitengo cha wanafunzi 100 bora wasichana waliofuata wenzao wavulana unyo unyo kuna takriban wasichana 47 bora kati ya 100 na wenzao wa kiume wakishikila nafasi 68 kati ya kaunti zote 47 nchini ni kaunti 18 zilizorodhesha idadi kubwa ya wasichana waliofanya mtihani huo kuliko wavulana na hili lilimtia shaka waziri Kaimenyi na kumbidi kutoa changamoto kwa kaunti nyingine in this counties I'm just kind of appealing to you to put in place all possible measures to ensure that in this schools all girls of school going age are enrolled and remain in school. See, the commitment of the Jubilee government is to ensure that our children remain in school until the 18 years. For obvious reasons. They will have matured. They will not be married too early. Because if you are married at the age of 13, to be a mother at the age of 18 is a curious task. County zilizo sajili wanafunzi wa kike zaidi kulikuwa kume ni pamoja na nyandarwa, nyeri, kaunti ya Kirinyaga, Kiambu, Machakos, Kitui, Embu, kaunti ya Meru, kaunti ya Makueni, Tarakanithi, Nairobi, Transnzoia, kaunti ya Wasingishu, Kericho, Nandi, Bungoma, kaunti ya Kakamega na hatimaye Vihiga. Lofti Matambo, KTN Leo.